Greetings, I'm Mike Grontman. This video clip demonstrates regression of nodes caused by Earth ablateness. The coefficient J2 in the expansion of the Earth's gravitational potential describes this most pronounced deviation from spherical symmetry of the shape of our planet and of its mass distribution. More video clips illustrating other effects of interest to space mission design and to spacecraft design can be found at the website astronauticsnow.com. The simulations are performed using AGI's STK. This video clip demonstrates precession of the satellite orbital plane caused by non-zero J2. The simulation covers five days. The orbit in this example is circular with altitude 400 kilometers and inclination 28 degrees. The red vector facing you is the vernal equinox vector. The sun is on the left illuminating the earth. The yellow band on the surface is the equator. The satellite intersects the equator moving from south to north at a point called the ascending node. At the beginning of the simulation the ascending node crossed the equatorial plane at the location of the vernal equinox vector. That is, right ascension of the orbit was equal to zero. Right ascension of ascending node is counted from the vernal equinox vector. One already sees that the ascending node gradually shifts westward. The rate of precession depends on orbit semi-major axis, eccentricity and inclination. The other point of the orbit where the spacecraft crosses the equator moving from north to south is on the other side of the Earth and that point is called the descending node. The line connecting ascending and descending nodes, the line of nodes, is in the orbital plane and it crosses the center of the Earth. If the Earth were perfectly symmetric, then the orientation of the orbital plane would have remained fixed in inertial space. Because of non-zero J2, the orbital plane changes its orientation while preserving inclination. It is said that the orbital plane precesses and rotation of the line of nodes is called regression of nodes. If one looks at the rotating Earth from the north, the planet rotates in the counterclockwise direction. In our example, the satellite orbits the Earth also in the same direction. Such orbits are called prograde. Note that the line of nodes precesses in the direction opposite of the Earth rotation. Regression of nodes is the enabling effect for important sun-synchronous orbits favored by many remote sensing and reconnaissance satellites. In contrast to our example, sun-synchronous orbits require the line of nodes to precess in the direction of the Earth rotation. To achieve such precession, inclination of the orbit must be larger than 90 degrees. As observed from the north, the satellite would orbit the Earth in the clockwise direction opposite to the direction of the Earth rotation. Such orbits are called retrograde. As you can see from our simulations of regression of nodes, by the end of the fifth day the line of nodes has precessed more than 35 degrees. More video clips illustrating other effects of interest to space mission design and to spacecraft design can be found at the website astronauticsnow.com. Thank you for watching. I am Mike Grontman.